Why is demand outstripping supply of food, energy and water? Supply is the amount that we have and demand is the amount that we need or want. So the title of this presentation implies that across the world we're needing and wanting more food, energy and water than there is. What evidence do we have for this? Well, if we look at certain resources and things that we have across the world, we can see that the amount we've got um, is dwindling. Um, this this uh, map shows the quantity of forests that are remaining compared to the original amounts that we had. Now, if we start with tropical rainforests, if you have a look at Madagascar, Madagascar has pretty much chopped down the entirety of its tropical rainforests. If we look across Africa here, it used to have vast amounts of rainforest, and yet now here focused around the Congo, um, there's a much smaller amount of rainforest left. So there's our first evidence that demand is outstripping supply, we're using up these resources. Here's some more evidence. Um, this one shows the number of years of fossil fuel reserves that we have left. So it's predicted we have just about 50 years left of oil, um, about 52, 53 years left of natural gas and 114 years left of coal. Obviously, this doesn't take into account the fact that we might find more. If we find more reserves, the amounts will go up. But the point is they are finite. Uh, we are running out. Here's a third bit of evidence. Um, this shows the quantity of seafood species that we've lost since 1950. So if we look at the current year, which is 2020, um, we can see that over the last uh, few years, the last 70 years, we've lost up to 40% of the seafood species in the oceans that we used to have. It says species collapsed. What this means is there's so few of these fish left, uh, we can't fish for them on a commercial scale anymore. Now, why is demand outstripping supply then? Why are we using up more resources than there are on, in the world? Now, the first reason is our rising population. Um, the population of the world now is over 7.3 billion people, and we can see a vast increase of people since the late 1800s. Um, there's been exponential growth. That means the population has been doubling in a short amount of time. It's because death rates are falling and it's because in certain countries such as Niger, um, people are still having large families. They're having large numbers of children. But what does this mean in terms of demand outstripping supply? Well, the more people there are, the more mouths there are to feed and we're going to be using up even greater amounts of energy and water. Our second reason why demand is outstripping supply is because the world is getting more affluent. It is getting richer. If we take this, this shows um, China's salaries in yen. And since 2011, the salary of the average person has increased hugely. Well, what does this mean in terms of resources? It means that people have got more disposable income. So they're going to buy more food, they're going to buy more luxuries, and then again, they're going to use far more water in their flushing toilets, showers, dishwashers. And so as people become more affluent, more of the world's resources are going to be used up. A third reason why demand is outstripping supply is increased use of metals that we only have a small amount of. So um, electronics, robotics, use certain metals that cannot be replaced. An example is the metal coltan mined in Africa. This is used in mobile phones, um, but it's, uh, it's not renewable. And because of that, demand is outstripping supply um, of this finite supply of metal. Supply of resources isn't increasing fast enough to keep up with the demand. Reasons for that include um, our food supply. Um, it can be affected by disease, natural disasters, climate change, um, things such as drought or flooding will mean that one year we might have less food than another year. Um, our water supply can be affected by climate change, 
also poor river management. If lots of water is being used for crops, it means we might not have enough water left over um, for people's drinking water. Um, resources are in short supply because many of them are non-renewable. And so we can't um, supply as many as we would wish, such as the fossil fuels. And finally, politics may stop resources from getting where they're needed. So Ethiopia is a global food producer of coffee, oil seeds and vegetables. There's plenty of food in the country, but, uh, but they are selling it to countries of the West, whilst many of their population go hungry. So here is a summary. Why is demand outstripping supply? Firstly, our population is getting so huge, we're needing a huge amount of resources. Secondly, as our population of the world is getting more wealthy, people are wanting to buy up more things and use more resources. Thirdly, um, we're using new technology, things as mobile phones, things such as mobile phones that, that use uh, the finite supply of metals that there is. And finally, um, the supply of resources isn't increasing fast enough to keep up with the demand.